Think it'll support my weight? Let's see. As you can see, my windows showed up today. And they are awesome. I can open them in the rain. I just got done welding this frame around it and the second one back there I gotta come back and trim up and clean everything up. Do the cutout for that and cut out on the welds here. So it has this crank which is awesome which I may put a little electric motor on later on. And this locks it, you lift it up to unlock it. Crank here opens it up. The only downside is I have to close these every time I move the rig, which that is fine. But I have the nice little cross breeze, double pane low E from uh, tinysheds.com, I think. I'm not quite sure. I'll drop the uh, address. I got them off eBay. They're, they're scratch and dent cells, so they're not perfect, but they work for what I need to do. So, closed. Locked there. Locked here. Good to go down the road, and these are just held in by the pure tightness of the welds. I got them pretty tight in there, but I think they'll hold up just fine. I got to cut out where I put the welds in there, and yeah, I will pre cut out the sheeting that I need here. Alright, we're back. I hope we can weld today. 
it's gotten a lot more chilly than yesterday. It was 80 degrees yesterday. And the reason we didn't weld yesterday is, well, we got, uh, we had a mistake. We got the wrong gas. Uh, took it back up there. I got, um, I was having welding difficulties and I was going through tungsten like it was brittle candy. Come to find out, I, I we accidentally got the wrong gas. No one's real fault. Someone didn't put it back in the thing and I didn't check it whenever I got it. So I had argon, 75% argon and 25% CO2, which is fine for a lot of other things, but not for aluminum. So we went up today and got some regular argon 100%, which is good. Yeah, all 100%. I had to look again, make sure. It was kind of a pain to hook this up, and this is really bad. Need my gloves off so I can get some grip on this. I'll vibrate you guys here for a second. Oh. Get it on this thing here and tighten down, and we can start welding again. Get the other window done which is my goal, and get the other sheet cut out today, which is also my goal. And I think I'm going to bolt it using the self-tapping, uh, or not self-tapping, I'm going to pre-drill it, and I'm going to come back in with some other things and screw it into place, or bolt it into place. And um, then we can get both these up there, weld it. Wind's still blowing too hard today. We really weld outside, but we'll see what we can do. And then, we've been the cross members on, hopefully, as I've been saying for a while now. Been struggling a little bit with the videos and doing all this and everything else. Mostly when there's a, a gap. I think I'm just going to stick with about a week of video if I can maintain it. Um, and hopefully there'll be a lot more coming up soon. Um, it just depends on weather, wind, among a lot of other things it depends on. Oh my gosh. And we did an upgrade. Provided everything works out. We will be having better music soon. Um, partly for your sanity, more for my sanity. Uh, when you make videos all the time, you have very limited options for using videos and having your stuff monetized on YouTube. So we're going to try one of these paid things for copyright free music that I can use, but we're going to try, uh, I believe it's called Artless for about a year. Okay, if you look. Right here, you see this black, and it's like pulled away. It melted it, it just did not adjoin. I'm going to have to pull this apart and clean this all up again. It basically turned into a sooty, nasty, yellowish mess uh, whenever I try to weld with uh, argon and CO2. You wouldn't think, but apparently. It was pretty horrible, and it, it killed anyone that knows. It, it put holes in my tungsten, and it really messed up the ends on these. Let's see, it's a better light here. I mean, you can probably see it better. This ate out the ends and chewed it all up. I'm going to have to redress all my tungsten ends that I've been using. Which is no big deal. At least we know. I can get back moving forward. What I'm a little annoyed about, though, is I have to re-square this up when it cleans it up. So, it is what it is. Lesson learned. I'll, look a clo I'll keep a closer eye on it, too. But I've been really itching to get this done. Also, it was 80 degrees yesterday, and we had a cold front come through, and now it's cold. Like, really cold. Well, not really. 60s, something like that. Uh, what else has been going on? Uh, not much. Getting rid of vehicles, getting rid of campers. I sold my dad's, or helped my dad sell his camper the other day, and I think, man, I should have just bought this thing and went out. I could be out right now, but... Hindsight, you know. Besides, once this one's done, it'll be way better than a camper. And I got wood for the inside to start laying down the subfloor. I'm 
And I got the rock wool and the rigid, two inch rigid foam that I can cut in and lay the PEX pipe that I have. And I got the heater. Really all I need to do is just sit down and do it. So I'm going to get this window in on this thing. And then once this window's in, I'm going to set that up there and get it all squared up with the other one. And start, uh, whatever it's called, gluing and bolting in place. And once this is kind of semi-permanent in there, and maybe even permanent, I'm waiting for a nice non-windy day to weld the frame to the frame, this frame to that frame. So I think the bolt will be the first step. I'll just leave it clear. I can start on the cross member supports, the front supports, and the reinforcements on everything. And then even when a once a certain point gets passed, I won't have to actually wait for the wind because... I can put the sides on it and I can have some blockage with the sides on it and then we can really start moving forward on this and I have felt like I've been like sitting here like oh it's coming it's coming it's coming I'm gonna get it done it's gonna get done eventually and it's it's not as fast so plans are always faster than what they actually happen life happens of course and then on top of it, I'm trying to balance everything with good weather, which is a non-windy day in Oklahoma is such a rarity. And honestly, it, it'll get done. I mean, that's part of the reason I'm tore halfway apart and in this, this garage here. So, I guess sit back, enjoy the time lapse of me welding and grinding everything together, and enjoy the music. Um, yeah, the music's definitely for everyone's sanity is involved. I, I can't tell you how much I, I'm over a lot of YouTube video music right now. If you guys are tired of it, understand I've listened to it about 20 times more. Um, just during the whole editing process. So, like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy. Well, there you go one window thing uh, insert completed all I got to do is do a quick test fit and drill the uh, rivet holes or screw holes I haven't decided what I'm going to use and test fit it in here make sure everything fits and square and uh, good to go I'm also going to cut out one of these sheets actually I'm going to set up the other one I cut out and see if it matches this one close enough that I can use it as a template and then I'll draw it out. I don't know if I'll cut it today. It's kind of a pain to cut this one, so 
and it still needs to be finessed a lot more uh, it did this whole thing so I might say the cutting for later I need to straighten out the corners where I cut it you can kind of see where I jacked it up right there I'll test that and see if that fits up here if that fits up I'll use that one as a tip template should fit because everything's matched you know sounds funny I have earplugs in it so everything sounds everything sounds funny with earplugs in it so I'll test that out here in a second and then I'm going to slide this up in there and we will go with trying to match everything and we'll start cutting on the floor things and the cross supports and yeah hopefully actually it looks like the winds died down I might even start welding today I was hoping to get this all done before oh yeah I gotta I need to come in here and drop a bead on that so I can get rid of that noise this one still kind of makes it too, and it has a bead on it too. I don't know. Maybe I'll just fill it for a spray foam or put something in where it doesn't make that noise. We'll see. Sounds a little bit like an instrument of some sort. Let's see, is this cool enough yet? It's a nice thing about aluminum, it really dissipates the heat kind of fast. Still a little warm up there. So let me go get that other window. And. I'll flip this around where I can see both sides. And we'll do a test fit and get it pre done.
So you can do this with the battery runs out. So I got a uh, the, the the thread nuts or rib nuts didn't work too great. This one has it. They just didn't line up good. So I took it and drilled a hole through and put a bolt on that side. Ran a thread all the way through at the top and bottom. These are more or less redundancies, but uh, because they're redundancies. If my redundancies does what the main one's supposed to do, and this, mind you, is only half of my redundancies because I'll have a whole nother side and get this to stay there. There you go. Get this to stay there. Think it'll support my weight? Let's see. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Oh my god, I can't even do a pull up, but I, it supports my weight. And that's the redundancies. I'm gonna come through and run a weld up this is one side the other side will also be done the same way um, all I can say is when you're doing this stuff have a plan A B C D and sometimes stuff doesn't work out how you think it's going to anyhow I'm gonna start running a bunch of welds on this to give it a nice solid foundation just because because that's what I originally planned to do I got the bolt rib nut in it'll also help give me a little bit more watertight on there so I'm very happy that I can do this <laughs> I wish I could do a pull up but I can kind of jump up and put my weight on it and I'm at the farthest point away from the cab right here and once I have this one I'll, it's square on both this way and that way and I figured out how I'm gonna square it with that one using a couple of vice clamps so I'm gonna get this one welded up and yeah yay I just need someone back here to catch it when I drop it. You may set on the top and see if. <coughs> no. Yeah. Uh, I said it's worse this year than it's been for years. Oh, I see. It's got to flip up. Yeah, that's got to go. Yeah, so. Get my fitting right. Yeah. Oh, this thing's too hot. It has to come forward a lot. A lot? Oh. Forward to do that. I'm going to do this lighter. I don't need to go against the wolf. I need to grab it because I need to readjust. I need to readjust. Where? Hang on. I got it right now, I think. I, it's hard to gauge the weight because they hadn't worked with this. So we went with head, so it's... Come in. Right there. So I'll do all the measurements here in a second. I just need to help get up. That's good. That tight? Yeah, it's good because you don't want to slide out. <laughs> and you just lay on it so it didn't try and move on you? Uh, no, because i got to adjust it. Okay. So as long as that's up there, I'll hold it up there. Okay. Getting it was the hard part. Well, let me step back. Okay. 